Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to make a satin top hat in Second Life. And so first thing you want to do is find a sandbox and teleport to that sandbox. We're in a U2's uh, sandbox, and let's right-click on the ground and hit Create. And from the menu, you want to choose a cylinder, and you're actually going to need four cylinders to build this top hat. Now this cylinder is actually a little too large for my head. And if I walk over and take a look at it, let me move around here a little bit. We can see it's just too big. Now at this point you can actually bring it down and size it to the size you want, but I actually already have done that already. And I know my X coordinates have to be 0.17 and my Y 0.17. And so at this point the hat now is about the right size for my head. This is as far as the top portion of the hat, the long portion. Um, let's move over here just a little bit. It's a little long, so I can hit, hit Control Shift, click on the object, hit Control Shift, and that allows you to manipulate it based upon the handles. I'm going to grab the blue handle and bring it up and down. Let's squish it down a little bit. And I'm going to need actually four cylinders to make this hat. So I'm going to hit the Shift key and the blue arrow, and actually just it'll create another portion cylinder. Let's Shift and Control again and shift and um, drag again. Not shift control, but shift drag with your mouse. And so now you have four pieces and you can build the hat. And at this point I can actually control shift and grab that blue control handle and shrink that top portion. That's the top part of the hat. And grab one of these gray handles and shrink that in just a little bit as well. Let's see if I can get a gray handle and shrink. There you shrink it in the top part of the hat. The center portion needs to be hollow. So come over here on the, uh, click on the object and go to the uh, menu and Go ahead and go all the way to 95. I'm going to hollow out that cylinder. The next part, that's kind of the little band that goes around the hat. We need to actually shrink this down. So control shift once again, grab the blue control handle, shift it down. But I'm going to make it a little bit larger by grabbing the gray, and that will go around, but that also needs to be hollow. So let's hollow that out. And the last portion, that's the rim of the hat. Let's hit control shift again. Grab one of those blue control handles, squish it all the way. Grab a gray control handle, and let's make it a little bit larger. And now we have the last part, and we need to hollow that out so everything fits inside that. So let's hollow a little bit more, but not all the way. Let's go to about 45, and that might be about right. Okay, now I'm going to hit the Alt key and get a little closer to my drawing. There we go. And we're going to, we're going to fit that band down in there and see how, how well it goes. So let's stick the band down in there. And we can see that's a little bit large. We need to shrink that a little bit more. And I'm going to hit Control alt so I can just move around it just a little bit more. There we go. So you can see that. So that's actually too large. So let's bring up the uh, Build menu and click on the... Uh, excuse me, let's get rid of that, Dell. Let's click on the Edit piece and let's click on the object and let's bring that uh, hollow Make that hollow a little bit less so we can shrink around that band. And there you go. And now you're right around that band. All right, good. Now let's move up a little bit so we can see the rest of the hat. So I'll hit the, the Alt key so I can move back and forth a little bit. There's the other pieces right there. Let's hit that um, Control Alt. Let's move in a little bit more. Good. Great. I'm going to walk around a little bit. There we go. And now let's bring the big part, por large portion of the hat down. There you go, goes right there. And here's the top right here, which will fit right into the hat. All right, now let's zoom in on that so we can actually see what we're doing. There we go. Right there. All right, so actually, a number of pieces of the rim. Okay, then this band that goes around the hat. Let's click on the band. And that portion as well. Let's pull that up a little bit so you see that band. That band needs to be a little bit larger. So what I'm going to do is click on it again, hit Control Shift, and I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. There you go. And now let's see if that's the right size. Let's bring it down. Good. You can see how it's fitting around the long cylinder part of the hat. Now I want to convert all of these pieces to satin. So I'm going to go ahead and shift click on each each piece holding down the shift key. So each one is selected. And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to just go ahead and go to textures. Click on texture and go to the library. And I'm going to textures and click on fabric. And I'm going to look for something called satin. And there's satin and click on that. And now everything has been converted to satin. We'll just hit select. And we're good there. Now it looks to me like that top piece is too large. That needs to fit right down into the hat. So once again, I'm going to hit control shift. Find that gray controller and push that in. There you go. 
that, when I let go, see it got larger, so I gotta watch that. Let go with the mouse first. And you can see that's just not going to want to cooperate with me. So what I'm gonna actually do is try one more time. And I can just right here go to the numbers and just change the numbers. So let's change the numbers because it's not cooperating. So let's bring them down. First, bring down the X size. And then bring the Y size down to the same amount. Okay, let's see how we are there. Still a little too large, so let's go back to those numbers and bring them down. So once again, if your control handles are not working for you, then just go right to the numbers and it manipulate everything from there. And so let's see if that's the right size. And there we go, we're finally fitting in there. Just At this point, I see this is actually too large. I'll like shrink the Z to record of that, so that's shrunk as well. Let's give each one of these a different color. So uh, go back to texture, and let's choose a color for each one. I'll just choose this one to be yellow. And the next one I'll choose to be um, pink. And right now it doesn't really matter. I'll show you how to change all these at once. And let's this one be blue or a bluish purple. And the top, let's make that um, orange. And we selected that. Not the best colors you've ever seen, but it'll work for what we're doing. And now we're going to make sure that we put everything together. So let's actually assemble the hat. So just by grabbing the blue arrows, we can bring that down. Once again, that's a little small, so let's make that larger. So let's go to object and hit hollow. So bring that out a little bit. There you go. That looks like that's going to work. And let's bring that down into that hole. Good. That's just right. Let's bring the next piece right down into that piece so it fits right in there. Good. And let's bring the top piece and put it right onto the hat. Now, with that top piece selected, let's go ahead and select the other pieces by hitting shift click, get the middle, shift click, get the band, shift click, get the rim. And let's hit control L, which will link all these objects together. And now we can just hit control and rotate the entire hat. There you go. Let's rotate it with the red. There you go. And you see there's our top hat. Isn't that great? It's completely finished. Now at this point, I actually want to attach this to my head. So what I can do is, let's rotate back. Just right click on the object and go more and hit attach. Hit head, hit skull. And now what's happened, if I walk around a little bit, I see that top hat is actually attached to my head. Now if you don't like where that top hat is, just click on it and you can actually move it around with these control arrows. Or hit control and actually rotate it around, around in position. So there you go. So you can actually move and rotate the hat around. There you go. And just use those control arrows uh, as well to get it just right. And I'm going to hit uh, control alt and just rotate around and see where I am. M? Okay. I look okay. And let's walk around a little bit. Good. All right, now I've created my top hat, but I want to sell it on the web. So how do I sell it? So I'm going to detach it from myself. I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to hit Drop It. Let's drop it on the ground just so we can take a look at it. All right, there we go. There's my hat. And I'll move this real quick. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right-click once again. I'm going to hit More. I'm going to hit Take Copy. I'm going to put that copy right into my inventory. Let's take a look at our Build section here and click on that hat again. Oops. Make sure you're on the edit key and click on the hat. And what I want to do, I'll move it over, is I want to hit the general key and give this hat a name. So I'm going to call it my S hat for satin hat. And in description, I'll put top hat. And down here, I'm going to hit for sale. And we'll sell it for one Linden dollar. And go down and hit modify. I'm going to allow the owner to modify it, but not copy it. So we're going to keep a monopoly on our business. And so now we're ready to watch those linen dollars roll in. Let me show you a few more other things you can do with this hat. Let's bring it over here so you can take a look at it. I can actually change the entire color of the hat at once, so let's do that. Let's go to the edit mode and hit uh, textures. And let's click on color, color and let's make a red hat. Hit select, and there I now have a nice red hat. Let's reattach that to my head, so I'm going to go right here, more attach to head and skull and there you have it I have a nice red hat attached to my head it looks like it's probably a little bit off of my head so I'm going to actually move it around just a little bit so once again with the arrow keys really easy to adjust clothing items that you might create and one more thing I want to show you is that that hat is now in my inventory so if I click on inventory I can see 
my new hat and if I click on that I can see uh, my new hat it's a satin hat and you can see it's for sale for one London dollar and that's how you make and sell a satin hat in Second Life